Welcome to EPG Pachala. This is Dr. Ankush Ambardar from Kurukshetra University, Kurukshetra. Today, I'll be taping, taking up a topic from Tourism and Hospitality, Front Office Operations and Management. The module today we'll be dealing would be public speaking. Well, in this lecture, we'll be understanding the concept of public speaking, various benefits of public speaking, types of public speaking and the characteristics and techniques to be followed for effective public speaking. Three P's of public speaking will also be taken care of. The ability of human being to communicate is what makes him different from other living creature on earth. Whether these language conventions make us superior than other living creature is an issue of debate. But there is no question that the most powerful and most successful people over the centuries are those who have mastered the art of communicating effectively and efficiently. The skill of communication is so vital that from thousands of years it has been formally taught. This scenario of teaching was started a long time back when citizens of Rome and Greece got training to participate in society approximately two and a half thousand years ago. Now when we talk about concept of public speaking, let's talk about meaning of public speaking first. Now when it comes to public speaking, it is one out of four categories of communication used by humans. Small groups, didactic, public speaking and mass. Communication of small groups involves the small number of people talking to each other directly. If the communication is between only two people, that is known as didactic communication. A public speaker is public speaking delivers the message with specific purpose to the audience who are present there during the delivery of the speech. The mass communication occurs in between the large audience who are unknown to the speaker or who are the part of large crowd. There can be little or no interaction of listener with the speaker. In public speaking, there is always a speaker with reason, the audience who gives attention, the speaker and followed by a message for accomplishment, a specific purpose. The public speakers are the ones who address the large audience without any interruption and they take responsibility of the ideas and the words they heard. For the effective public speaking, the person should have effective communication skills. In today's business environment, the leaders themselves have realized the importance of the effective interpersonal skills of communication. They face this in their day-to-day -day life during the job interviews, meetings, conference calls, public events, and workshops, etc., so on and so forth. Even after knowing all these, still many business leaders are overlooking and neglecting the advantages of public speaking, leaving the advancement and great career option for those who are master the public speaking art. The truth is that even after having the years of experience, business idea and the best services or products, if you're not able to communicate the same to the target audience, this means you are limiting your own effectiveness. The very best and inspiring stories of companies and organizations go unshared because people are feared of going to the stage and share their views 
and stories, it is important to learn how to communicate in front of the group of the people in a captivating or structured manner for whatever the goal you are having, whether it is expansion of business, motivation of other people, professional growth. There are many benefits and art of public speaking holds. Now, what definitions do we have in relation to public speaking? The act or process of making speeches in public, the art of effective oral communication with an audience. Public speaking, also called oratory or oration, is the process or act of performing a speech to a live audience. Now next, we can talk about benefits of public speaking. So according to a study done at Tufa University in Medford, it shows that to make first impression about someone, it takes three to five seconds. Improving the ability to speak in front of others and even learning to speak about what actually you do and who you are with a natural grace and accuracy can go a long way in the expansion of your social circle. Minded, people and making the new friends and even for building new relationships. So benefits of public speaking include communication skills get improved, first of all. So public speaking involves lots of practice which is helpful in improving communication skills. Next, improvement in organizational skills. So in public speaking, the audience is vast to handle them and to communicate the right words and share the right ideas helps to improve the organizational skills. Next, it helps in increasing possibility of meeting new people. So public speaking involves a lot of interaction with different people these types of meetings give chance to people to interact with each other and help to meet with new ones. Next, there will be lesser fear and anxiety when speaking in front of others. So public speaking helps the people to take out their fear and anxiety while speaking in front of large audience. This boosts the confidence level of the spokesperson. Next, memory will get improved. In public speaking, person has to keep in mind what to speak, where to speak, and when to speak. This helps to improve the memory and to make it sharp. Next, listening ability will get enhanced. So public speaking even helps a person to enhance the listening skills. The control of body language and emotions will get better. So meeting different people and by communicating with them, we learn new things. This helps to control the emotions and body language because in different communities, body language has different meanings. Enhanced advising ability. So public speaking helps in motivating and inspiring people. Now we can talk about different types of public speaking. Speaking to inform when a speech is delivered to the audience to impart or to give information on the particular issue or topic it is known as informative speech. A person who is preparing the informative speech should do the preparation by searching on the topic in very well manner. The speech should be precise and short because long informative lectures or speeches 
makes the audience bored easily. The success of the informative speech depends on the understanding of the audience. Seminars in colleges, business presentations, and class presentations in colleges and schools are the examples of the informative speeches. A person preparing for an informative speech has to research the subject or the topic very well. It should be in short form and precise because of the long informative speeches or lectures which can make the audience easily bored. Speaking to persuade, persuasive speeches are the ones in which you try to convince or persuade the audience about any product or idea. The aim of these types of speeches is to change and influence the audience opinions. Facing the people who have different views is difficult. The most important points that should be kept in mind here is if you want to manipulate others' ideas and views, you should show your passion while speaking. While delivering the speech, it should be remembered that the spokesperson is not there to hurt feelings of people. One should convey their message without hurting the feeling of others. These types of speeches are mostly given by the marketing and salespeople so that they can attract their interest in the services and products. The politicians and the religious gurus generally use this way of public speaking to influence the political and religious views. Speaking to accurate. Accurate speaking is higher level of speaking. Here, the speaker usually goes a step beyond convincing and persuasion. The aim of this type of speaking is to generally motivate the people enough so that they take action or a step forward. The level of this type of speaking is powerful. There are a very few people who have achieved mastery in the art of persuasive speaking. In this speaking, the spokesperson can convince their audience so deeply that they become ready to move or to take action. Persuasive type of speaking is the best tool during the situation of conflict and war. It also comes in action when the speaker not only tries to gain support for some reason or cause, but also wants that the audience to whom he is speaking should take a strong action. This can be done by using strong words, display of conviction, great emotional involvement, and by charisma. Typically, these types of speeches do not have any base of figures and facts. The aim of speaker is to make emotional involvement that they straightway adopt the principles, reasoning, and idea to take up this burden. It has been seen sometimes in the armed forces that people got more aggressive that they oppose their own leader for not being more aggressive. This is a big drawback of persuasive public speaking. Now we can talk about techniques of good public speaking. So for most of us, speeches are generally hard. To improve public speaking skills, we can adopt the following techniques. Selection of the topic for speech. So in the formal speech making, the first step is of deciding the topic. Mostly, we take topic which is related to our specialization area. Generally, we choose the topic for speech if we have knowledge about the concerned topic. Sometimes, 
the assignment given to the person influenced the topic when the task given was of the receiving or welcoming the group. So during the search of the topic, following points should be kept in mind. Knowledge and background of the speaker. Interest of the audience. And the last is occasion of speech. Time and order should be followed for speech. So introduction, body, conclusion has to be included into it. Now guidelines for the introduction of the speech. Now introduction of speech has aim just like introduction for writing a report. To get ready for listeners or readers and pick up message. Instead, public speaking has supplementary goal of creating the interest. Unless we make sure that we can arouse the interest at the beginning, there will be possibility that the presentation will get fall. Techniques of creative interest are directly related to the imagination. The one possibility for storytelling is a strong appeal. Now, creating humor is another most widely used possibility. Another best way is for seeking attention. At introduction, using the technique of questions and quotations. In addition to creating interest, the opening should provide the theme of the speech. Now, organizing the body of speech. The body of the speech is just similar to the body of a report. In speeches, we generally use factors rather than giving attention to the place, time, and the quantity as basis of the division in most of the speeches. Presentation should be built around questions and issues that are subtopics of main subject. Even so, the possibilities of subdivisions can be on the basis of place, time, and quantity. We need to give more stress on transitions between divisions because it can be possible that the reader can see these things easily, but the listener can miss when they not adequately focused. Without the clear phrases, there can be possibility that the speaker can be speaking of something else and the listener correlates it with some other points. So in conclusion remarks of the speech, unlike most of the reports, normally speech ends up the drawing conclusion. In this part of the speech, we target our goal. We usually bring all of that we have presented to the head. We should consider with the following three elements. Restatements of the subject concerned, key points in the form of summary which were developed in the presentation and the statement of conclusion. Making the conclusion as the high point and closing the speech in a dramatic way make the speech more effective. Concluding and presenting the message in a strong language that will be helpful in gaining the attention and remembering too. Further, in addition, concluding with the summary, we can use humor, we can give suitable quote and call for the action. Characteristics of the good public speaking. So some of the characteristics of a good public speaking or good speech are mentioned below. Clarity, first of all. Clarity is the first and the foremost feature of the good speech. The speech we give should be successful in passing on the message to audience like emotions, ideas, arguments, and the facts that we would like to express. In the case of informal talk, so good speech is just like chatting between two close friends. 
during the delivery of the speech, understanding should be there in between the spokesperson and the audience. Speech should be concrete. So the speech should be vibrant with the inclusion of the concrete facts which can be easily perceived and visualized. Speech should be brief. So average concentration of the audience lasts not more than 20 to 25 minutes. Therefore, an ideal speech must not exceed 25 minutes unless there is motivation in the audience during the speech by certain interesting facts. Speeches should be interesting. The humorous touches should be given to the speeches, often to make them very interesting. The used quotations in the speech should be accepted by experts. Humor should be typical, gentle, and spontaneous. Next, it has to be audience oriented. The good speeches should be audience oriented always. Now, public speaking, speaking modes. Following modes are used in the delivery of public speaking. Number one, manuscript speaking. These types of speaking are generally given on occasions whose mature is more formal. Manuscript speaking is done directly from the script. It is helpful to get very precise and can even helpful to be more careful in controlling the message that the listener are going to receive. Generally, a longer time is taken to develop the manuscript, but at the last, the manuscript acts as a barrier between the spokesperson and the listeners. The impromptu speech. These types of speeches are delivered when there is little opportunity for preparation. Its main aim is that their speeches are spontaneous. The main drawback is that these speeches are not planned very well. Example of impromptu speech is when without any advanced warming, when we say few words. Memorized speech. This method is the most commonly used method for the public speeches. Next is memorized speech. It allows us in giving the expression which is well planned. During the memorized speeches, the spokesperson generally should have the tendency of losing the certain quantity of the naturalness and sometimes it sounds and even looks quite wooden. The drawback of this type of speech is the possibility of forgetting the memorized speech. Extemporaneous speaking. This method is more formal in reference to the impromptu speaking. In this speech, we get the opportunity to plan before giving speech, which is resulting in the better and organized speech than the impromptu speech. We normally depend on the notes in this speaking. The three P's of a successful speech. Introduction. The outcome of any speech, whether it is positive or negative, does not depend only on the public speaking skills of speaker. It is generally influenced by lots of factors such as the attitude of the audience, the quality of the material, the topic of presentation, the length of the speech. There are some factors which are out of speaker's control. The remaining 98% of success will depend only on that how well presenter follows three Ps, preparation, practice, performance. So when it comes to preparation, just like the hours of the material research, planning and preparation will help to reduce the nervousness. 
This helps the spokesperson to be more knowledgeable and more confident during the speech. As we walk on the podium, we start feeling the eyes of the audience on us. In order to make the speech memorable and interesting for listeners, it is really important to keep in mind following three key elements. The audience, the speech is written for whom, what is main objective of the speech, the purpose of the speech, the direction of speech. How will speech be presented? Whom means knowing your audience, their age, number, professional background, gender, and interest will give a few valuable ideas like about what to talk and how to find right angle for speech, which is both easy and original for the listeners to understand. Next, what? So the purpose of presentation does not end only with delivering of the information. What do you want? Audience should know. Why are you speaking? What is the goal to entertain, to educate, to inspire, to sell, to challenge, to persuade? Best presentation styles can be chosen by identifying main objective of speech. For example, if a salesperson is speaking to introduce his product, the speech at that time will be different from the speech delivered by him while training his subordinates. How? So professional speakers usually make the plan on how they will be going to present material before even thinking about what actually they would like to say. Preparing such type of speech is similar like we are directing the movie. As the public speaker, we become the director of your own presentation. Practice. Public speaking is just as the other skill which requires the constant practice just to get improved. The more you will talk in the public, the more you will train the body and mind to recognize the speaking as a safe and familiar situation. This will help to make us more confident in the spotlight. Practice alone. Practice in front of other people. So do final dress rehearsals. Performance. When we are getting ready for our speech, it becomes optimist of long term and a pessimist of short term. We should believe on our heart that our presentation will be loved by the audience. We should be ready for the last movement, technical troubles and even other problems that can arise during the performance. Do not wind up the presentation quickly. So before getting up for talking, you should relax. Make sure people can hear you. Greet the audience with smile. Wrap up the talk at the time. Talk to the people. Face the audience. Make sure your hands should be out of your pockets. Calm the attention of audience. Do not diminish or underestimate the audience. Now to summarize the same topic, public speaking is an art of speaking in public. One should master this art to become a successful person. Earlier, it was said that public speakers are born, but it's a myth. There are lots of institutions who are teaching students who want to inculcate skills of public speaking. It is not only helpful for the professional life, but also to the social life too. It is easy to differentiate an effective public speaker out of a group. Most of the people 
use to go for the memorized speeches as they feel shy to use notes, but in modern time technology, also working as an aid for the public speakers. Thank you for watching EPG Patshala. This was Dr. Ankush Ambardar from Kurukshetra University.